Hello everybody. Today I am going to explain you the third poem of the Flamingo book of your class 12, Keeping Quiet, written by Pablo Neruda. This poem is actually about self-introspection, self-examination. The poet asks to keep quiet and examine your own self. Let me read the poem stanza-wise and then explain you in detail. Now we will count to 12 and we will all keep still. For once on the face of the earth, let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for one second and not move our arms so much. The poet wants that we should self-examine ourselves. A self-introspection is very needed because in this way we can reach our inner world and we can interact or we can, we can come closer to all other. We can be united. The poet asks that it's very easy, like we are counting from 1 to 12 in similar way. We can keep quiet and we count on ourselves. And uh, everything will be still. Uh, we will stop hearing everything, close your eyes and just in a matter of moment, we will have a, uh, we'll just think on ourselves. For once on the face of the earth, for just once on earth, let us not speak in any language. Just stay calm and quiet. For one second, we should not move our arms. We should just stay quiet. Our body should be still. Close our eyes and we think on ourselves. The third stanza. It would be an exotic moment. Without rush, without angels, we would all be together in a sudden strangeness. In that moment, when we are just still, we will not hear anything. Nor the sound of the engines outside, no rush, no uh, outer world sound. We will just focus on ourselves and that way we will be together. In a certain strange way, if we all just think on ourselves, we all will be uh, reconnected to our own self. We will examine ourselves. Still sitting, uh, just sitting still in a meditative position, eyes closed and focus on oneself. We will reach, in a moment we will reach to a different angle of our life. Fishermen in the cold sea would not harm waves and the man gathering salt would look at his hurt hands. In that way, if we all just sit still for some time on the earth, there will be stillness everywhere on the entire earth. Not only I or you, if everybody sits still for a certain moment and recount on ourselves, there will be stillness. The fishermen will not venture out to catch the whales. The man who is collecting salt in the sea beaches he will just get moments to look at his hands who are worn by the decaying of the sand, uh, salt on his hands. Next stanza, those who prepare green wars, wars with gas, wars with fire, victory with no survivors, would put on green cloths and walk about with their brothers in the shade doing nothing. The soldiers, this stanza refers to the soldiers, those who are uh, venturing in the war, those who are taking part in the war, they will not use the gaseous weapons, they will not use the rifles, their bombs and there will be no victory, no loss. They will be, they, they the soldiers will just put on clean cloths and walk about with their brothers. With their brothers means other soldiers, soldiers of other country also. They will just wear on clean cloths and walk together in the shade, doing nothing. Doing nothing means not participating in the war next answer what a what should be confused with total inactivity life is what it is about i want no truck with death if we were not so single-minded about keeping our lives moving and for once could do nothing perhaps a huge silence might interrupt this sadness of never understanding ourselves and of threatening ourselves with death the poet says Ki coming still we all are coming to still that doesn't mean Inactivity. Inactivity, uh, this is just stop of activities for certain moment, for self-introspection, for self-realization. Likewise, uh, everything comes to a still for a certain moment and then a fresh start can be done. So if we just come halt for a certain moment, we count on ourselves. And with that, again, we can uh, come forward and uh, we can start in a new way, our life in a normal way as it was before but this silence is particularly needed for the inner peace for everyone all of us to be united the last two stanza says perhaps the earth can teach us as when everything seems dead 
and they took us through alive as if in the winter when everything is still the earth seems to be uh, in death everything is still but again in the next moment when the spring comes the earth regenerates it flowers it blossoms everywhere likewise in the winter when the earth was still in the next season it blossoms so a small halt is needed to recount your losses so that you can do a fresh start now we'll count up to 12 and you keep quiet and i will go this poem is actually a self introspection it is a necessity of keeping quiet it will help people understand their worth and create a self of natural love and relationship by keeping quiet the poet does not mean total inactivity instead he wants full involvement in life by keeping quiet here physically we will be inactive but we will be active in our mind we will reconnect with our incidents in our life and there will be self realization the reason for this is war imbalances everybody isn't it man and nature there is imbalance because of war because of hatredness but by, by this keeping quiet for certain moments we can reconnect to ourselves and we can ponder on the things which were happening in our life so quiet introspection will create a spiritual and a physical union that is very much important for the survival on this earth if we are quiet for some time we will self realize we will reconnect with ourselves and in that way we will create a balance if we are doing something wrong in that recollection that self introspection we can rectify our own faults usually it happens ki when somebody points our mistakes we are feeling bad isn't it but in that feeling quite uh, that keeping quiet moment we will connect to ourselves we will realize what we are doing good what we are doing right means we will just point out ourselves what is good what is right and we will self realize let me tell you in this lockdown period you are getting ample of time do sit for some time close your eyes and self introspect yourself you will get to know your inner inner your spiritual being